This video is going to cover hunter braids. Hunter braids are used in the disciplines of hunters, equitation, and occasionally carriage driving. The mane is going to be four to five inches when you're braiding for hunter braids. If you are in an inexperienced braider, then you can leave the mane at five inches. However, ideally the mane would be pulled to a four inch length. You can also use the length of your pulling comb as a measuring tool. You're going to have a larger number of hunter braids than you would button braids. For hunter braids, you may have anywhere from 20 to 40, and that depends on the length of your horse's neck. So our demo is going to start by separating her hair. She is going to use one of the separator combs, so the width of one separator comb, unlike button braids, which is going to be the length, the width of two. So she separates her hair, making sure she goes down to the crest. And now she is going to add her yarn. So she places the middle part of her yarn at the top of the crest, and then she incorporates it into the two outside pieces. And then she's going to start by braiding down. She also is going to add spray and braid, and that will make the mane tackier and easy to grab. You can see how she pulled her yarn tight as she got halfway down her braid, so it didn't have a loop. She's going to braid all the way down to the end of the hair because her mane has been pulled to the correct length. And then while pinching the end of her braid, she's going to tie the braid off using a slip knot. You can also add an extra regular knot for security. So she ties a loose knot first, wraps it around her braid, and then does a regular knot. Next she takes her latch hook, or her pull through, some people call it, and she grabs her yarn. So she sticks it down the crest of the neck. Let's go back. She sticks it down the crest of the neck, right in the middle, all the way through. And then she puts her yarn in the little door, closes the door, and then pulls it up through. Then she's going to wrap the end of the hair, the excess hair, around her yarn so it hides up into the house that she's created because her braid is nice and tight. Next, she's going to make a loose knot and go underneath the braid. You could also do a double knot here if you wanted to. And then she's going to make a loose knot on top. And this is the most difficult part. So this is when you have to anchor the braid against the crest of the neck. So she sticks her two pointer fingers in the top of her folded braid. And she uses her extra fingers to pull the yarn tight while pressing on the braid with her thumbs, as you'll see. So she pushes it tight and that anchors the braid up against the neck. And then you'll want to do a double knot here. And then you'll cut the excess yarn off. You want to cut your excess yarn close to your knot, however not too close, or else it may come undone. And there's your finished braid. So we're going to do another braid here. Our demo is going to do another braid. And this time she's going to add her yarn in a different way. So again, she uses one separator comb width to section out her hair. Going all the way back to the crest in a nice even part. That'll make your braids look better if your part is even. Then she'll add her spray and braid to make the mane tacky and easier to grab. And then she's going to start by braiding down. So you can see how she did not add her yarn in the beginning like her previous braid. She's going to braid halfway down the length of her hair, nice and tight. And then she's going to add her yarn to the back of the braid and incorporate it into the two outside pieces. 
You can see as the horse shakes, she holds on tightly to the braid. If your braid is tight enough and you're holding tight enough, it should not affect your braid. And here she's going to braid down to the end of the hair. Again, she holds tight. And here she ties off her braid with a slip knot. Making sure she's holding onto that braid tightly and Casey shakes again. And here she'll add her extra regular knot for security purposes. Now she'll take her latch hook, stick it through the middle of her braid as close to the crest as she can get with the door open. And then she'll put her yarn into the door and close it. And then she's going to pull it up through the center of her braid and take the yarn off of her latch hook. Then she'll wrap the excess hair around her yarn so that way it gets hidden in the house she's created and it does not stick out the side. You can see how she pulled her braid up so the bottom of the braid is even with the braid that she did before. That'll make her mane look nice and uniform. Then she ties her knot underneath and now she'll tie her knot on top, sticking her two pointer fingers in the top of her braid and tightening the yarn in the center and a double knot for security. And then she will snip off the excess hair. So when you're tying your final knot, you want it to be about in the center. It can also be slightly above the center. 